And all systems are go for a billionaire Richard Branson to launch into space this morning. The billionaire, along with five others, will board a test flight to the edge of space. And joining us now is Steven Berg, a lecturer at NC State in mechanical and aerospace engineering. And thank you so much for being with us. We want to talk about what is the significance of Branson's journey. Yeah, so this is a little bit different than, you know, human space flight that we've seen before in that, you know, four people on this flight aren't, you know, NASA selected astronauts or Air Force personnel that have been, you know, selected and have trained for years for this mission. Uh, this is a billionaire and three of his executives uh, flying in a rocket to a suborbital trajectory uh, just past the edge of space, I guess, depending on who you talk to. All right. And what can we expect for that launch today? Will it be like ones we've seen in the past? You talked a little bit about the differences, but just kind of give us a rundown of what we can expect today. Yeah, so I guess the launch is delayed a little bit. They had some overnight weather issues, but uh, it looks like things are go so far around 1030 uh, our time here in the Eastern time zone. Uh, but so this launch is going to look a little different also than traditional launches uh, and that this won't be a vehicle sitting on the pad and then they light the engines and it, it goes up vertically from there. Uh, this, as you're seeing pictures here of the White Knight 2 uh, aircraft, will actually carry the uh, Unity spacecraft, as shown in the pictures here. That spacecraft will then drop off of the airplane and ignite its rocket motor, and that will uh, go on a trajectory, vertical trajectory, to a suborbital altitude of about 55 miles above uh, ground level. All right. Sounds amazing. Well, uh, we know that Amazon founder Jeff Bezos has his own project going on, and uh, I believe he is not set to launch for a little over a week uh, from now. But so Branson was kind of able to beat out Bezos. I know there was this competition, but some, sometimes they were denying that there was a competition and all this. But what does that all mean for space flight? Yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, you can say what you want about about it being a competition or not being a competition. Um, frankly, it is a competition, and why wouldn't it be? I mean, they're they're competing for uh, people to buy tickets on their, their spacecraft, right? Uh, but you know, to me, the interesting part is what this means overall for the space industry, um, in that this is sort of the first steps that we're seeing toward. You know, everyday people, and that may seem hard to believe right now, as a ticket on uh, uh, Branson spacecraft will cost north of two hundred thousand dollars. But nonetheless, this is the first step toward you know normal, regular people uh, being able to uh, hitch a ride to space, uh, technically one day. And we do hope the costs uh, for these for these rides do fall uh, as we learn more and get more experience with these types of spacecraft. Yeah, so is this going to become maybe like a trip to Disney World in the future? I mean, you and me, probably you before me, but um, eventually maybe all of us will have that opportunity, but it's pretty costly now. Right, uh, exactly. Uh, to me, you know, right now this is more of a thrill ride or roller coaster ride for Billy right uh, to me the interesting question moving forward is where can we go from here and there's already companies uh making moves and you know building things at least on the ground right now to have actual destinations uh in space uh, for example in the future we hope uh, you can it's right on a rocket and dock with a space station, whether it's part of the International Space Station now or a fully privately funded and built space station and stay in that space station and hang out for a few days uh, in Earth orbit and eventually come back. And then maybe eventually in the future, uh, you can go to the moon, and hang out on the moon, play around the golf, I don't know, uh, whatever we decide to build on the moon in the future. 